Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The exact model is a 14 IDL05. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up and check the internals and repaste the CPU in case you want to. And I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using for this video. So tool number one is a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to do this service. Also, you will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. Uh, one sheet of the workshop towel. I recommend you guys always use workshop towel, not a regular towel or cloth. And you need your thermal paste. I'll suggest an Arctic Arctic MX4. And with this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, power of the laptop. Flip it upside down, and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to remove all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Unless it's not, let me double check. I think the front ones are shorter. Yeah, there are two sets of screws, the medium size and the short ones. The short ones are the front end of the laptop and the long ones or the medium are the rest of the laptop. So let's go ahead and remove the front end of the laptop, the short ones, and keep them in one pile. And then we're going to remove the long screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own service upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick, and we want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palmers, just like that. And all you need to do is twist it backward. Keep twisting and go work yourself all around in the front end of the laptop. And do the side, go to the back corner, to the left side, to the back corner. You don't need to do the back end, but if you do want to do the back end, you can do it right here by the grill. And you want to grab it from the side, bring it up and wiggle it around and it will release itself. Uh, right away, we can see this horrible design that they have on this exact model. There's no fan or anything under here. It's all empty space. The fan jack is in there. There's no extra component, no RAM dim or anything like that. But at least they give you the uh, SSD expansion right here. Anyway, to replace the thermal paste in here, it's really easy. First, we need to remove the cables for the Wi-Fi. Just pull them up untangle them just bring them up and down down and up and we need to remove a few screws we're going to remove the screws for the cpu they have a little c lock on there so that means the cpu the screws will not come out the c lock will prevent it from coming out once you remove the screws there go ahead and remove the screw for the where supposedly the fan supposed to be right there loosen it up i mean and then Lift it up, pick it up, bring it up. So there we have it. So no fan or anything like that. And there's your puny uh, heat sink. We didn't disconnect the battery, but if you guys are careful, you don't need to disconnect the battery. But for those people that want to disconnect the battery, you just have to pull this cable, this jack backward. And if the jack is, is really hard to grab it in there. So what I do, that's why I don't disconnect it. I remove the battery screws. This should be three of them. Once you do it, then you can grab the battery and pull it back and it will disconnect itself from there. These cables are really tough, so don't worry about it. So disconnect the battery cables. Now we can work on the CPU. You can do this without removing the battery, but if you're not cautious, go ahead and remove the battery. You wanna grab the alcohol, we're gonna spray it on the towel. And we're going to wipe on the CPU and remove all those excess of thermal paste that they have in there. Flip it over. And clean it up nicely. And clean up this side 
and there we have it. So next, what you need to do is to grab one drop of the thermal paste, put it right over, and next, grab the heat sink. So I don't know why they do this design, but yeah. So you want to put this heat sink supposedly on top and hold it down, follow the numbers one, two, three, four. As long as you cross the screw them, you're fine. So that way the thermal paste sprays, it spreads evenly over the GP, I mean the CPU. Once you put this screw, then go ahead and tighten up the screw on this end. Next, you need to run the Wi-Fi cable, zigzag them around. And you want to place the connectors right on top. The Wi-Fi cable just goes, they snap on straight, so. There it is. There's lots of space in here, just leave it loose. I like to grab a little tweezer. Pull it back a little bit, so give a little room for the hinge. When you open the screen, you can pull the cable a little bit. And there we have it. Uh, second last thing here would be to just put the cable connector for the battery, squeeze it right through the connector, and place it right in there, and put the screws for the battery. There should be three of them. All right, once you have it right there, and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover and align it on top and squeeze, push down the corners really hard so you hear those click sounds at the back too. If there's any gap opening, just pinch them together and it should go in its place. And then the screw, remember the short screws at the front end of the laptop, the mediums are the rest of the um, bottom cover. I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. If you did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.